Hey, my name is Tom, um, and today I want to go over how I learned Solidity in 30 days. So, if you want to develop blockchain applications, the most supported ecosystem is usually Ethereum, um, and Solidity is their smart contract language. So, what is Solidity, right? Solidity is a Ethereum smart contract language which allows you to do multiple things. So, you can create NFTs, um, prediction markets, and most importantly, and most recently, is DeFi projects. So DeFi stands for Decentralized Finance, um, and there are a lot of things within that domain that you can do, whether it's lending, stable coins, derivatives, there's so much of finance or traditional finance that's being reinvented. So just a prerequisite on how you want to learn Solidity is that you do need to know some fundamentals of web development to understand some HTML and CSS and mainly JavaScript. Um, I personally tried to do learn Solidity two, three years ago without these fundamentals and it was really difficult. So I do highly recommend learning real basics and fundamentals of JavaScript. So the way I would go about learning Solidity is mainly in two parts. Understanding the fundamentals of blockchain. So I highly recommend reading the um, Ethereum white paper as well as a Bitcoin white paper, but also supplement that with a lot of YouTube videos and articles just to understand the general concepts of blockchain. Um, and then once you have a better understanding of that and kind of explain that to a friend, then we can get into Solidity. So with Solidity, um, I recommend, um, I started off with this Udemy Academy called Blockchain Developers. And it was really fundamental. Um, so here we go over, you know, the different ways of how blockchain works. And then we kind of get into the very basic syntax of Solidity. So we go over contracts and how that works, how that works with the blockchain, how that interacts, and eventually getting through final projects where you learn to interact with the blockchain all from scratch. And then after that, the way I approached it was going through some crypto education games. So one of the most highly recognized games, um, education games, is Crypto Zombies. So it's a very fun interactive tutorial and way to learn Solidity. Um, and then after that, I also attempted Ethernauts to really understand how to go through these fundamental bugs and different use cases that people might run into. After that, I went through a lot of ERC20 and ER721 tutorials. So to note that a lot of tutorials are kind of out of date. So be careful of how that may compile, etc. So ERC20 is the kind of standard that is kind of similar to like HTTPS standard, but within Ethereum language, it's ERC20 for uh, um, the, the coins that we see on Ethereum. So many other projects like ZeroX, um, Aave, etc., all ERC20 based coins. So you can learn to do yours from scratch. And ERC721 is more on the NFT side of things of non-fungible tokens. So doing these kind of tutorials will get a better understanding of, oh, these are how the coins are created or these are how NFTs are created. So a lot of that here after the Udemy course and doing these tutorials really helped me shape my fundamentals. And after that, I started to look into other DeFi company projects and read through their source code on GitHub. So I looked through projects like Aave, Compound, Mstable, uh, DHedge, and it was really useful to kind of understand just how they build things. I didn't 100% understand everything, but it was just a very slow process. Um, yeah, that was very, very useful for me. But then the one thing I want to remind you is that when you're learning a new skill or picking up anything new in life, it takes a very long time and it's a slow and steady process. So don't beat yourself up of not being able to build a whole DeFi application in, in 30 days, but just appreciate the fundamental blocks that you're learning and that it is a journey. Um, so it was a really good reminder when I was learning Solidity. And then after that, um, it was just a lot of practice. Um, and then I've also made a notion guide, which breaks down how I did it. Um, and I was just constantly revising, talking to new people about it and just watching lots of YouTube videos and tutorials to get better. 
So practice makes perfect um, and hope this was useful and leave any comments below on how you've got started, any challenges you're facing and yeah, all the links to the Bitcoin white paper and everything will also be included in as well. Thanks guys.